We now know the recipient of the country's first near-total face transplant. 46-year-old Connie Culp made her first public appearance five months after undergoing a 22-hour procedure where surgeons used donor tissue to help rebuild her face. Well, I guess I'm the one you came to see today. <laughs> Connie was shot in the face in 2004. Her injuries were so severe that she couldn't eat solid foods, drink from a cup, or even breathe through her nose. Five months later, she can now do all of those things, but doctors say she still has a long way to go. We've done already a lot, and I think uh, over the next six to 12 months, uh, we will see the animation coming back to her face. But even as she is right now, She's just, uh, you know, one of us. Uh, she has a nose, she has eyelids, she has uh, lips. Surgeons say Connie's facial nerves are growing about an inch each month, and in about a year, her facial function will improve, giving her more facial movement. Thank you all. I think that's all i got to say. For Cleveland Clinic News Service, I'm Erica Foreman.